I don't know what you have to do to be taken serious. I, I think the only time you're taken seriously is when someone is murdered. We'd always heard about things on TV, you know, but never really realizing how that would impact us until it happened to our family. It's our Aboriginal communities that have been searching for our own and really trying to, you know, get some justice. I've had to hitchhike myself and it was because I had no money, right? You wouldn't put yourself in a, in a position of danger in, if you had money. It's a big barrier in, in a lot of communities and hitchhiking becomes a part of life. Our lives are entangled with, with the women mm -hmm. who've gone missing and been murdered over the years. You know, it sh can't be a secret. Mm -hmm. We have to talk about it. If a young woman is feeling victimized, you know, who is she going to trust to go to? I don't think that First Nations in general think that our, the RCMP are someone that they can go to for help. So who do we trust, from the police to the judges to the bullshit? It doesn't just affect the family, it affects the whole community. And from there it affects, you know, like there's people all over the world that it is affecting. As a leader, I think that it's my responsibility to ensure that I share my story. Because it, all it takes is one person to hear that story and it may change their lives. You know, there's going to be a day that I hope I'm not very long down the road where all women will be protected, all women will be safe. She was a mother and my sister and she was my best friend and yeah, we just really miss her and, and I still miss her, you know.